going down to Rosedale takes on a very different meaning here in New Orleans, but I just may be at a crossroad knowing what to order. Lori on Facebook said, and I quote, everything I ordered was perfection, but we have to try the barbecue shrimp. You are welcome. Well, thank you, Lori. Let's see if I'm willing to sell my soul to the devil for these. Everyone, welcome to Rosedale. Welcome to Rosedale. I'm so happy to be here. Good. This is such a cool location. So we're just off the streetcar. Right. Um, off of Canal. It is a little bit tucked away. Even though it's super convenient, we call it hard to find, easy to get to. Well, I know there's a lot of history in the building. So the architecture is beautiful. Can you speak to the building itself? It was originally um, a police station and mm -hmm. it was originally on the West End Canal. Wow. And it was moved here and it was a, a, a police station up until, no, I think until Katrina. All our restrooms were, were cells. All the restrooms were cells. <laughs> <Yeah>. Okay. <laughs> and uh, this actual site itself um, has some unique history too. The uh, original Colored Waifs home mm -hmm. was... Unfortunately named. But right, yes. <laughs> yes. You know, supposedly that's where Louis Armstrong... Uh, Learned to play... Know, uh, learned the, to break cornet or trumpet or, you know, and we have the Holt Cemetery right down the street on right. one side, the cemetery. which is Buddy We're, Bolden. Buddy buried. Bolden is buried right near here. Wow. So there's a lot of good jazz and music vibes. Well, yeah, I mean, I feel then, like in this city, you can't walk too far without in running the steps into of, some music. Somewhere. Running into You're some right. music, running into some history, walking steps of someone Absolutely. that is really important to recognize. All of these wonderful good things. I'm here to try some food. Yeah, so we got that too. This is our um, shrimp episode. And okay. we're celebrating all of the things that all are things um, shrimp. all things shrimp. And we are excited about your rosemary barbecue shrimp. shrimp. I can't wait to get in the kitchen with Chef Allie. Should we go? Absolutely. Okay, come on, let's go. Hi, Chef Allie. Hi. I'm so excited to be here. We're making our rosemary barbecue shrimp. Um, what do we have going on here? Because those shrimp look really good. They're straight from the Gulf. They Whoa. came in from Grand Isle. Um, ah! As you can see, they're quite wow. beautiful, huge shrimp. First step is we're going to peel it. Yes. So that's that's good. You have an expert here, so born and raised in, in mm. Louisiana, so you're good. Speaking of, you're from Cutoff, Cut Louisiana. So down the bayou. Down a little bit, a little bit. <laughs> a lot of the great, beautiful seafood comes from there. So it's a do great community. I, do I take off the tails or the heads or no? We're leaving the heads and the tails on just because so that kind of helps, <laughs> okay. helps seal in the flavor. And these guys are right. gonna go wow. straight into our pan. That looks good. Bye guys. <laughs> when did you first start cooking? What is, when did I started you... cooking when I was about 10 years old. Mm. <laughs> My mom was very big into dinner around the family table. It's garlic. Some fresh garlic. Okay. Uh -huh. Fresh shallots. There's fresh shallots. Cool. This is our special rosemary. That, that is our got. rosemary. Cool. You want to add it in? Oh, yeah. All of it? Yes. Just, bam. Yep. Oh, oops, sorry. Wrong. <laughs> <laughs> this is Worcestershire, Worcestershire. and this is um, crystal hot sauce. Nice. Crystal. Very good. Oh, my gosh. That looks amazing. What's it like having uh, Chef Susan as your mentor? So Chef Susan was someone that I always looked up to as a young chef, a uh, female chef, yeah. uh, who really did it. <laughs> she had Bayona, was one of my favorite restaurants. It was a place we would come to New Orleans to come to. How did you meet? Uh, we actually met at an industry party at Compare Le Pen. Oh, wow. It was a friend that had invited me there as just to go along and meet some new people. I had just come back to Louisiana from Virginia. All right. <laughs> Pressure. So now we're gonna deglaze with a little Dixie beer. Wow. Let these shrimp kind of hang out and simmer in there. After you add the beer, they'll simmer and they'll just kind of get all that extra flavor in there. This right here is a little bit of sauce that we had pre-done uh -huh. that has the beer, the rosemary, the black pepper, the Worcestershire, the crystal. So this is oh. just a little restaurant trick to reinforce that flavor a little bit more. Wow. If you want to squeeze a little fresh lemon. Yeah. I'm just kind of brightens thing. up the flavor. Lemon and seafood, it's like a perfect marriage. Yes. So I'm gonna take the shrimp out and finish up the sauce and then heat up the bread. Wow, I am so lucky I get to try this. <laughs> um, I'm going to go talk to some customers while you get this all sorted out. All right. Um, and I can't wait to try it. I'll meet you in the dining room. <laughs> Thank you so much. Food's excellent as always. 
uh, staff, very friendly, just a cool place to hang out. Looking forward to get some fish, you know, drinking a couple more beers, so yeah, I like it here. I actually always get the um, pimento cheese sandwich. <laughs> Really bacon good. and tomato added. It's, yeah, delicious. But everything is good. I just had the pate today. It was gorgeous. I get the Couchon Delay on the happy hour. Best bargain in town, five dollars. Everything's high quality. Uh, you, you know, Susan Spicer's going to do it right. The garlic bread is to die for. We're a huge Susan Spicer fan, and we followed her for 30 years, actually, from Bayona to Mondo and to here. And what I like about Rosedale is it's so laid back, it's relaxed, and their specials are fabulous. I like the shrimp here because it has a really good flavor. I think this might be my number one restaurant. doesn't happen too often. Thank, Thank you. you. <laughs> this looks wonderful. Cheers. <laughs> so you're, um, you weren't raised here. Oh. We moved around. I was a Navy brat. I am so happy that my dad decided to retire here. I can't imagine living anywhere else. I can't imagine living anywhere <laughs> else either. Mmm. Yeah. That is delicious. Thank you. Mm, very good. Thank Allie. And you know, I've had barbecue shrimp before, but this is this is something else. When I look at the the photos on your walls at, at Rosedale that have all the musicians and speak about music and your your love of music a little bit. I don't play anything. <laughs> <laughs> My first earliest memories are of listening to Irma Thomas and mm. Ernie Cado and the Dixie Cups mm. and just all the great, great New Orleans R&B musicians. Um, it's just still some of my favorite music. You know, music does something similar to food where it, it mm. feeds you in, in different ways and it does fe feeds your soul in different ways. And so, and I see yeah. it integrated on the, on the walls and, and capturing with a little bit of humor, but also a little <laughs> yeah. tribute, which is really important. Yeah. I spoke to Chef Ali a little bit about you being her mentor. Can you speak to what is it like? It means supporting and encouraging, but it also means pushing people out of their comfort zone, which is <laughs> what my mentor did for me. But it's very exciting when you, you know, when you do see that light in somebody's eyes and you do see them kind of, what I always say, putting two and two together. You know, that's a very exciting process. And Ali's really good at, I think, bringing out the best in people. Um, she keeps a very positive, while I'm kind of old and cranky now, <laughs> she manages to always put a positive spin on things. It's so important to um, of what I'm hearing and, and building a team. And I think that's what I'm getting a sense of what makes Rosedale so special. It's a small but mighty team. Yeah, and also, you know, it's important to get along in, with the front of the house too. And we have a really good symbiotic relationship Absolutely. with the, you know, the front and the back. And I think that's what makes this this work. The teamwork between kitchen, front of the house, and just, you know, supporting each other and having a great time. Thank you. Thank you.